Good morning, friends. It's a special day for me because I get to do my first ever product review. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Oh, it's not the suction cup mount. It's the camera. Cool. Well, I'll have some reading and studying to do. It says Acaso Trace One HD Dual 1080p Car DVR with Sony Starvis technology. I'll have to study up on that, get it mounted in the car, see how it works. Well, as soon as, as, soon as I'm smart enough to open the package, there we go. Quick, re quick reference guide. It's in English, muy bueno. Oh my gosh, look how small that is. Wow, way cool. Wow. Takes a mini SD card. Plenty of cords for hooking it up. Oh, a suction cup. Windshield mount. A cigarette lighter plug. And an orange tool. Well, I'll have to read about that because I will be mystified about what you would use that for. Hmm. So, I'll be anxious to be trying this, but first I have some reading to do in the reference guide to see how it works. Um, let me read you the back of the box, just briefly. Recording, dual recording supports the front and rear 1080p HD recording simultaneously, both at the same time, or just single recording of the front camera at 60 frames per second. Uh, night vision. It uses Sony Starvis uh, infrared technology, which allows you to clearly record the scene inside the car or outside without turning on the lights inside. And you can get the license plate of the front car even when there are no street lights at night. Uh, viewing angles up to 340 degrees, so that's very wide angle. 340 degrees? That's 20 degrees less than 360. How can that be? We'll see. Uh, new design concept. The new design is easy to install and uninstall. And um, the built-in battery can work for 20 minutes during recording or playback without it being hooked up to the car cigarette lighter. Okay, well, I'm really anxious to try this. Talk to you later. Here we have the box for the Trace One car camera and the things that come in the box. The instruction manual, of course, and it is in English. Spanish, Italian, German, and French. This is a USB uh, connection cord, and I was very happy to see that it's just a regular USB. It's not a proprietary connection. The car cord, again, not a proprietary connection there. Um, the windshield suction cup mount, the camera itself, and 
I've now read the instruction manual, and this is called the crowbar. The crowbar is for removing this rubber insert there, and that's where the suction cup mounts. Into the mystery about the crowbar. So, let's see how this is going to work. Well, that was easy. And then this... Oh. Yeah. Easy peasy. Cool. So I have taken it out of the car and the point I want to make is that even though it's a dash cam, it doesn't have to be in the car. Uh, the battery only will last for 20 minutes according to the manual when it's not hooked up to the cigarette lighter. But my point is that if you're traveling and you want to jump out of the car, it's a very easy dismount from the windshield. You get 20 minutes of video, and you can take a lot of video in 20 minutes. Probably more than your friends and relatives want to watch, actually. <laughs> and the uh, field of view is really good. Matter of fact, I was comparing it with my uh, GoPro Hero 3. And I didn't make a comparison because it's an old GoPro and that wouldn't be fair because there are lots newer GoPros than my old Hero 3 Plus Silver. Uh, but the field of view of this Akasa Trace 1 was actually a little bit wider. So... Pretty good camera. 20 minutes of video at a time out of the car. Paint job's looking good, eh? By the way, I had this problem with my cover blowing off of my convertible. And so I got this magnet. I ordered them from Amazon and they hold the cover down just enough that the wind doesn't blow it off. So I just set the camera there on the van and I'm going to uncover the car and again I'm not doing this so you can see me uncover the car I'm doing this so you can see how the camera is working whether you use it as a dash cam or just as something like a GoPro seems to be real good. I have my suction cup mounted there and this is just how easy that clips on there like that all ready to go and I got the wire run up through there and down through the rubber molding there nice clean installation all the way to the cigarette lighter plug and I like the plug it has um, an extra USB port at the end of it which means and I did this the other day I can run my GoPro from that plug uh, the extra plug let's go for a ride well this is a very cobblestony road and this is a roadster with very uh, stiff suspension so I picked this street for a reason it's got um, a lot of cobblestones so it's a rough ride and I want to see how it's doing with the rough ride 
I backed up here to give you a shot of the cemetery. We should come and do a tour of that. As I'm looking far ahead down the road, I'm pretty happy with the fact that it's not so jiggly from the terrible cobblestone street. Now we're off of the cobblestones, which means that it's still a dirt road, but it doesn't have that horrible vibration that you get on the cobblestones. I'm sure that it would be better in my van, and I cannot wait to try this in my motorhome, which rides like, well, it rides like what it is, a 40-foot air suspended bus. So this is what it's like on a dirt road. Uh, I'm not taking you for a pretty drive, I'm just trying out the camera. And some more cobblestones. And then we'll get up here to the Caratara where it'll be nice and smooth and we'll see how that works. And I'm also curious to see how my voice is working. So probably doesn't work as well on the noisy cobblestones as it's going to work up here on the highway, but then there'll be a lot more highway noise too. and see how it's working. This is my first time doing a product review for something that was sent to me for free. And my review is, I like this Akasa Trace One dual dash cam camera a lot. But since it's my first time doing a product review, I'm thinking, well, I need to find something I don't like about it just so that I'll sound like I'm giving an honest, fair, and balanced review uh, instead of just sounding like I like getting free stuff. Well, I do like getting free stuff. But the point is that I'm having a hard time finding something about this camera that I didn't like. Uh, I like it a lot. There is one thing. Um, I initially thought that I could use the data cable to charge the battery so I could just use a USB cable to run it in different vehicles. Well, in the online manual, which is very easy to download, um, it says do not use the data cable to charge the internal battery. It can ruin the camera. It says that in the manual. So I was disappointed to learn that I will need more uh, cigarette lighter plugs to run the camera and I have six vehicles. I have three in Mexico and three in the United States. So that's a disappointment to me to think that I need more cigarette lighter plugs. Uh, maybe I can get them from the company. I don't know. I haven't checked that out yet. I'm probably not going to take this camera to the motorhome and the Suzuki Jeep uh, in the United States. I think I'm just going to put my money where my mouth is and buy a second one to keep in the motorhome and leave this one here at home in Mexico. Enjoy the rest of the review. We're going to go for a ride in the dark. So we're testing the night vision and it appears that the infrared inside the car is working really good. Also, I uh, have the top up and the windows rolled up and of course the convertible is still noisy because it's a soft top. But I'm anxious to see how the sound is working with my voice.
you can see that it's a lot quieter when we don't have 50 or 60 mile an hour winds going across the soft top on the convertible. So I'm thinking this is more like what it would be in the van or the motorhome or a regular car that's not a convertible. So I'm wanting to follow this because it said you could see uh, license plates at night. I don't want to tailgate him, but actually what I want to do is punch it and pass him, but okay, it's a camera test. <laughs> Not a car test. I'm liking this camera a lot. And from what I've seen, it's going to serve me well in a couple of regards. One of them is that I will be able to use it as another camera in making my YouTube videos. And of course, that's not uh, its main function as a dash cam. The reason to have a dash cam, of course, is to make a record of your driving experience. And in the case of an accident, you have a visual and accurate record of who did what and whose fault it might have been. As a dash cam, for that purpose, this seems to check all of the boxes and have all the bells and whistles. The dual camera, so that you're shooting in 1080p uh, HD video, both frontwards and uh, back into the car, uh, seems to be one of the distinguishing features of this particular camera. And of course, you're going to pay a little bit more for it. One of the functions is that you can set it to loop either one, two, or three minutes, and then it just overwrites the last two or three minutes, but it also has a G-force sensor, so if you are in a collision, then it locks that part of the video and then continues recording. Or you can turn all of those functions off and just do continuous recording. I figured out, which was kind of a mystery to me, how it takes a picture of 340 degrees. Uh, that's both the front and the back camera working at the same time. So you only have 10 degrees on the left and 10 degrees on the right that is not being recorded. So that's another really good thing, I guess, about having a dual camera is that you're getting a lot more information recorded. By the way, I'm inserting this here very quickly because I just found out from Akasa that if you follow the link in the video description below, you can get a discount on this camera if you're interested in having a dash cam. Well, I was just going to take a short little run out to OXO and back there to test the camera, but it's uh, 10 o'clock at night. You can see people are eating at the street places. The pizza place is still open. And for those of you who aren't here for the camera test, you're here to take a ride in Ajijic, Jalisco, Mexico. friends I said good morning this morning so now how about Buenas noches it's been a good day hey if you like me give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next please share me with your friends on social media thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today